Well, let's get some analysis on why the central bank is hiking interest rates, what the increases could mean for consumers, uh, certainly some consumers, and what to watch for down the road. Matthew Stewart is the Director of Economics for the Conference Board of Canada. We've uh, reached him, as you can see. Mr. Stewart, thanks for taking time to speak with me today. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, l let's begin with why the bank has chosen to raise the key interest rate again today. What's the message it's trying to send about the state of the economy? Uh, well, this wasn't surprising at all. Um, we expected it to uh, continue to raise uh, rates. And this is uh, good news for the Canadian economy. Uh, we recently got a settlement uh, for the trade agreement, and it, it uh, projects continued confidence in the Canadian economy going forward. Uh, for a decade or so, the bank has taken uh, measures, including keeping rates low, to stimulate the economy. It sees less need for stimulus now, although it is careful about uh, hedging its bets on how quickly it uh, might boost rates in the future. What's it watching for? Uh, really what it's watching for is uh, more trade uh, disagreements, uh, particularly a trade war between China and the United States. Uh, that could impact uh, future rate hikes. Um, also, how consumers handle the uh, current hikes. Uh, we all have been talking about uh, the amount of debt that consumers have taken on over the last couple of years. And given the recent uh, increases, uh, how that's going to affect consumers going forward. The central bank talks about an interest rate that is uh, neutral, uh, a rate that doesn't stimulate the economy but doesn't shrink it either. Uh, that's a rate somewhere around 3%, so there is some room to increase from the current rate of 1.75%. How quickly do you think that could happen? Uh, I think there's going to be three more increases uh, next year. Uh, and I, I do think that we're going to move back towards uh, 3% uh, somewhere in 2020. Okay, well, why does the bank have to do that? Explain that if you can for us in, in, in layman's terms for people who want to know, okay, what, what does the bank mean it's trying to, to, to temper, uh, you know, a try, uh, as I think the, the, the head of the bank put it today, uh, Mr. Polaz said, you know, we, we want to make sure this thing doesn't overheat. What does that mean to the average person? Uh, well, the bank is always watching inflation, and what they're trying to do is to keep inflation close to 2%. And as the economy heats up, uh, it builds inflation pressures, uh, it builds pressures around wages and consumer spending. Uh, so really, they want to increase rates ahead of that uh, to keep inflation from uh, picking up steam. The bank did not seem overly concerned about the effect of these rate increases on uh, Canadian families, although it did say it's, it's going to be watching uh, the effect. Many of those families, as you know, carry a massive amount of debt uh, burden, and one-third of them in a recent survey are saying that, look, they're, they're worried that higher rates will push them into bankruptcy. How worried should those families be? Uh, for those people who have taken on a lot of debt, uh, I think this is the time when they should be trying to pay that down towards uh, locking in their rates, uh, because it will have a very large impact on the Canadian economy. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, Canadians have taken on an enormous amount of debt um, over the last five and ten years, uh, and with uh, interest rates now on the way up, uh, this is the time to try and uh, get that under control. Uh, what are the practical effects of, of the, the, you know, I mean, uh, is, is there a way of knowing how close some families are to the line here? The difference in a, in a quarter point increase in the central bank rate, what does that translate into in terms of a, uh, in terms of a mortgage? What do the banks do with that? Well, you know, when you look over the last uh, couple of years, even though households have taken on a lot of debt, uh, their interest payments have actually fallen because interest rates have been so low. And they've been able to renew this, these mortgages at much lower rates. Uh, but going forward, the average household uh, will see uh, substantial increases uh, towards their debt payments. Uh, and so it will have a, overall, on average, it will have a pretty large effect on the Canadian economy. So uh, I think you touched on it. What, what can those families do if they want to uh, deal with a, the new rate reality, which is increasing rates? How do they protect themselves? Well, uh, they can lock in rates now, but really they can try and pay down the high uh, they're high interest debt. Uh, these are things like credit cards, um, lines of credit that, that aren't locked in. And uh, try and bring these rates, or these interest payments uh, down before rates uh, continue to rise. When, so let me go back to that poll that, that suggested uh, there's lots of Canadians concerned they may be pushed into bankruptcy. Do, do you think we'll see some of that and, uh, and a lot of it? Well, right now when you look at the bankruptcy data, it's still quite low. Uh, but we will see uh, a greater amount of households under stress. Uh, there's no doubt that uh, interest rates are going to rise uh, pretty substantially over the next uh, year and a half. When you look at the broad economy, uh, I don't think it's going to have a, a major impact on, on growth projections, uh, but it will impact some households uh, substantially. But we're not getting to the, uh, I certainly remember the days of interest rates uh, in the 20% range. We're, we're not heading there anytime soon, are we? No, but households also had a lot less debt uh, back then. And, and when you look at the debt to income ratios now, uh, they're at record high. Uh, households have, have really taken advantage of these low rates by uh, taking out lines of credit against their houses. Uh, it's, allowed, it's allowed them to spend a lot more on consumer durables, uh, 
uh, things tied to new purchases of new households, new houses. Uh, so this is going to have a, a larger impact uh, than it would have uh, back then. Okay, uh, lots to watch for. Matthew Stewart, appreciate your time. Thank you. All right, thank you for having me.